start broadcasting to the nation through the all india radio the prime minister said at the outset i extend my warm greetings to you all on the eve of the new year we are entering into the new century within the next 2 or 3 hours on this happy occasion i feel it my duty to convey my feelings at the same time reviewing what has happened during the last year and what we wish to achieve in the years ahead this country has given birth to many important personalities who left their impression not only on the history of the country but also on the entire world our great leader and father of the nation mahatma gandhi has affirmed that one can win the hearts of the enemies simply by non violent means and not resorting to harsh measures he has proved that independence of a country can be achieved not by taking to arms but by peaceful means and our country has achieved independence strictly following his advice many other leaders like jawaharlal nehru and patel too joined the freedom struggle launched by mahatma gandhi we must first of all be thankful to all those who sacrificed their lives for the sale of the millions if we do not remember them at least one day in a year we are considered to be unpathetic during the last 50 years after independence this country has marched so far on many fronts namely agriculture industry science and technology from the beginning we are dependent on land for many of our needs we have been able to increase the productivity on the land by the use of machinery and equipment using the latest technology i am very sorry to know that still in some areas the conventional methods of farming are being taken up which would certainly reduce the productivity the government has taken all possible steps to provide these to the farmers so that they would be able to make use of the same this will not only raise the standard of living of the farmer but also that of the nation another aspect of concerning the agriculture which should be taken up on priority basis is the extension of financial assistance to the hard working farmers unless this assistance is provided to them on time they will not be able to get maximum benefit out of it for this purpose the finance minister in his budget speech has provided an amount of rupees 3000 crores for the benefit of the farmers under this scheme good quality seeds will be supplied to the farmers before the sowing season at a subsidy of 50% this will enable them to reduce their cost of production and make some profit out of the produce on the industrial front the country has witnessed a large scale industrial growth every 5 year plan has taken care of formulating policies for the industrial development of the country as a matter of policy the government has attached great importance to small scale industries which would be able to provide employment opportunities to the educated youth the large scale industries on the other hand which require large capital investment would enable establishment of medium and small scale industries around such industries in order to spread the industries to various parts of the land the government offers incentives to those industrialists who set up their industries in backward areas investing substantial capital all over the world at present 
एवरी गवर्नमेंट इज फोर्स टू ओपन अप इट्स इकोनॉमी व्हिच विल एनेबल ग्लोबल कंपटीशन आवर कंट्री इज नो एक्सेप्शन फॉर दैट लेटर फ्रॉम द चीफ सेक्रेटरी टू गवर्नमेंट गवर्नमेंट ऑफ गुजरात अहमदाबाद टू द प्रिंसिपल सेक्रेटरी होम डिपार्टमेंट गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया न्यू दिल्ली सर विद रेफरेंस टू योर लेटर डेटेड 13th अप्रैल आई वुड लाइक टू इन्फॉर्म दैट द रीसेंट इंसिडेंट्स इन द स्टेट आर द रिजल्ट ऑफ वायलेंस बिटवीन टू कम्युनिटीज द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट हैज टेकन ऑल पॉसिबल स्टेप्स टू एंश्योर लॉ एंड ऑर्डर इन द स्टेट बाय डिप्लॉइंग एडिशनल फोर्सेस दीज फोर्सेस हैव बीन पेट्रोलिंग ऑल दोज प्लेसेस व्हिच आर आइडेंटिफाइड एज ट्रबलसम and are given instructions to bring to book anyone irrespective of to whichever political party he may belong in this context i am to inform that the investigations made into these incidents primarily led to the conclusion that help and assistance from across the border is giving is being received these arms are being used freely by the anti social elements to create tension in view of the fact that the state has the longest border both on land and sea it is becoming difficult to check the follow up arms the existing forces are insufficient to effectively control the situation on behalf of the government i request that the government the center may intervene in arranging additional forces numbering over 50000 from punjab where similar activities have been arrested successfully in the recent months the presence of such forces at least for a couple of months would definitely boost the confidence of the police in this state yours faithfully